Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. Today I'm gonna to put together a banner for you. So I've done most of it, but I saved one thing of everything here that you see to assemble to show you what I do. So I have, I'm totally into this new thing where we're gifting gifts and um, if it's a toy, we're making a banner to go with it and it's just so stinking cute. So I can't wait to show you what it is, but oh here, I'll show you right now because I have it. So it is this cute little thing from our generation. It is um, a Choco-tastic stand. So it's um, s'mores, donuts, hot cocoa, that kind of thing. So it's more of like a ski chalet kind of thing. And I know it's April, so it's not quite the right timing, but I can't help it when people's birthdays are gonna be. <laughs> so, all right, let's do this thing for Haley. It's so cute. So. One of the things that I wanted to talk about is, you know, as much um, paper crafting that I do and all of that stuff, I always still run into the problem of what I think is going to look good. And even when I pull out the papers, they look good next to each other, but you don't know until you actually piece it together. So for instance, you saw that the stand has a lot of pinks and browns. So in my head, I was envisioning this, like a pink with the brown, with the letters and I had to switch out a couple of things. I had to switch out this, which this is now one of my favorite papers. I This is the first time that I'm using it, but it's the Basil, the Swiss dots. Oh my gosh, it's so stinking cute. I don't know if you can really see it, but there's little raised dots on here and it's so cute. Um, but you know, I just needed more white and I know with the light, it's a little bit hard to see with the glitter cardstock, but I have white glitter cardstock on top and then a little bit of the brown. Like this was too much brown. Um, so there you have it. I mean, I just wanted to point out that sometimes you have the best intentions and it still mm, doesn't work out. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna move this to the side. Um, I wanted, some of you guys have been asking what kind of glue I use. So when I have to use glue, I do use Barely Art. And so it, the kit comes with these little tips that are teeny tiny precision tips. So I love it. All you do is you put it in and I do clean it after each time because I don't use glue a lot and I don't have the little stopper thing that goes on top, but I, I need to buy that. <laughs> then maybe I won't switch it out so much, but I do clean my thing out every single time. Um, you know, I just like my supplies, so there you have it. All right, so what you need today is, I like this little needle thing. Whenever I'm threading a banner, some people just do it with the string and they stick it in there. I find that it's so much easier to wrap it around this needle. So this is a plastic little long, let me see, if they, there you go. It's really big, I mean, it's, and the hole is big. It's so much easier to go in and out with this. Um, I like my foam dots, foam tape. I have two different kinds. So these are the squares from Dollar Tree. And then I have a roll from Amazon. The roll now is also at Dollar Tree. I haven't sat down to quite figure out which one is cheaper. Sometimes it feels like when I'm buying things from the Dollar Tree, because it's a dollar, it feels so cheap. But I've been proven wrong when I sit down to calculate. So I'm gonna do that and I'll try to do that in time to post it with this video. So I'll let you know which one is better. Um, from a quality standpoint, it's really hard to tell because with these banners, they usually go out and I don't get to keep them and see if they last. So a lot of times with the glue tape, what I do is I back it up with my glue gun. I know it's crazy, but I don't want things to fall apart. So I use the glue tape, put a little bit of the glue gun as well. I know I'm like double, double dipping with the glue. Um, that's kind of where I am. All right, so let's get started. <laughs> um, so I did the first four letters, but just look at this. I mean, there's a lot of uh, depth to this thing, as you can see here. It looks like it's kind of flat here, but it isn't. And in person, it's really just popping out. So I love that look. So if you wanna achieve that look, let's first glue down the Y. So this Y is so thin. Usually, um, 
what I would do with thin letters like this is I like HTV because it cuts well, but this was thick enough all the way around that I wanted to use the my glitter cardstock and I wanted to use this glue. So let's put the glue down and you can see like it comes out so nice because of the tip. And like I said, I do keep it clean. <laughs> all right. I think I keep my craft stuff cleaner than I do my house. All right, let's put down this here. Let this dry. And a lot of times I have a, sorry, let me grab this real quick. Just, I'm wiping off the excess. I'm just dabbing it down. It dries clear, so that's not a problem. I don't know, I'm just a little paranoid with that. Okay, so let's flip this over and put some foam tape on here. And I believe, let me see which one did I use? I used the foam dots. Because they're, these two are the same in height. No, these squares are really thick. So um, let's put the squares down. That's the only thing I don't like about using this foam tape is the peeling off part. I don't know, is it just me? All right, so I'm gonna put a little bit of glue down here. And then I'll put it over here. So like I said, I just don't want anything falling off. Do you see the difference? It's so cute, I love this whole color scheme. Um, everything about it. All right, now we want to put, sorry, I'm like trying to remember what all that I did. Okay, so from the letters, I did this one. So this one, like I said, is not as thick. So, and I honestly, I don't think this is a gift. I don't think anybody's gonna notice the, the difference in the depth, but I just wanna be consistent, especially when you're selling, you wanna be consistent. And normally if you're selling, you would be doing this all at one time. You wouldn't be questioning what you did. <laughs> Unlike me, where I did it and then I am now second guessing what I did. All right, there's always layers. So in between these two layers, I'm also gonna have the bow tape. And I like to do two just so that it stays really balanced and it doesn't collapse on you at all. All right, so that's on. Let's get this on as well. Okay, so Haley is done. It's gonna be so cute. All right, so let's look at this coffee mug. All of the cardstock that you see today is from 12 by 12 cardstock, so I'll link that there. But look at how cute this, I don't know if you can see, it's like pink plaid, like dark pink on pink. It's so perfect for this little coffee cup. All right, so on this one, what did I, I used glue dots, okay. The squares, I mean. All right, so let's put this down. All of the images are from Design Space, and I love them because um, they're super low maintenance. Look at the, so you know, there's sprinkles on the donuts, right? And look at, they're big. So I don't have to worry about small pieces. All I have to do is glue that together. I just absolutely love this design. Um, and it doesn't waste a lot of paper. I mean, granted, I'm, these are on a smaller scale, but I just, I love that. All right, so let's put glue on this as well. Oh my gosh, I did not pull off the tape yet. I got distracted. <sighs> Let me pull that off fully, okay. Okay, same thing with this little guy. And the other thing is, so how I measured this is I looked at the toy and I measured the straight width of the toy, like where I'm hanging it, and it was 10 inches. So I didn't wanna do this thing at two inches each. 
Um, so I made it a little bit bigger knowing that I'm going to be hanging and there's going to be a little slack to the line. So we'll, we'll see how it looks in the end, but that's what I did. And even this little guy was so easy to cut and everything. I just love the details on all of this. Okay, so this little guy, you're gonna need to cut the foam tape over here because it gets skinnier. So I'm just gonna cut this in half. This one down as well and then put a little bit of glue on this so there's your little cup so cute okay let's look at this donut so let's do this donut first this donut is blue on top so I'm just gonna turn it around put some glue down And then I just use the glue as sort of like a little magnet to pick up the other one. And then because it's the perfect duplicate minus less holes for the pink glitter to show or the pink confetti or sprinkles to show through. So that's how that works. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this one. And I'm just going to use it to pick up the white. And then, there we go, get it to line up. So we have white sprinkles and pink sprinkles. So cute, right? Okay, but now that we have a solid background between these two, of course, is the foam tape. So let's put that down. Now, originally with this one, I think I did go, so you can see I always end up cutting just a few extras in different colors so we can test things out so you can kind of see there. All right, so on this one as well, I'm gonna put some glue. And then look at that donut. It's so cute. Okay, so this donut's done. We've got one more donut left to do before we string this up. But you can see it's so fun and so easy. Um, and this, I promise you, no one will ever forget the gift is from you. <laughs> All right, so let's see. This one, I'm so bad at this. Okay, here we go. So it lines up like that. So I'm going to flip this over, put some glue down on the brown glitter cardstock and then flip this over to pick up the purple layer to get the purple sprinkles on there Don't mind me, I'm trying to find the right thing <laughs> to line it up. So I used a brown glitter cardstock with pink and purple on here. So let me wipe off the glue. By the time we finish everything, you'll be able to see that it dries clear. So here we have this, and on this one with the full background, we're gonna put our foam tape. So 
I haven't quite decided where I'm putting these extra things. I feel like I'm gonna, I wanna do something like this. This one's just an extra one. Um, Maybe something like that. I think that's really cute. So I'm going to put this on last because I feel like once it's hanging, but I think that's what I want to do. I like those donuts. Okay, let's string up. So I am using this twine. It's purple and white on Amazon. You can always go to my Amazon shop for all these supplies. Everything on my Amazon shop is either a gift that I received as a present, like not from the company, but you know, something for my daughter, for instance, because I do have some kindergarten stuff on there and preschool stuff. Um, or if you can believe it, I bought all that stuff. So, um, so you know that I've used it with that particular brand. Okay, so I'm gonna string it like this. So I have that in. All right, so let's string. So I don't like the twine to show, right? So we're gonna go down and everything's gonna be behind. Oh my gosh, this one's too thick. That hole is so small, so let me get a thinner one. And sometimes what I would, um, on the bigger ones, I like to use, um, I buy the bobby pins from the Dollar Tree for a dollar, and then I just glue it. Oh my gosh, I'm having trouble here. All right, I think this is gonna be enough to get me going. Let's see if I can do this. Normally I don't, my holes are bigger. This toy is so small, that's why. Let me see if I can do, if I can tie this for a second. All right, I tied it, but I made such a hot mess right there. We'll see if this works. All right, let's get that through the L. Oh my gosh, I bungled this thing. Hold on. You're like, oh, this this is such a shortcut, right? <laughs> All right. Okay, there we go. I think this time it'll stay. Can you hear? My daughter's feeding the dogs. <laughs> All right. This one's working. We're gonna get everything in. And then I always give myself a lot of slack when it comes to the ribbon, or the twine in this case, because you never know what you need. Now on this one, I don't need that much room because the toy is so small. So I'm just gonna move this over. This should be plenty, and I'm gonna cut it like way down here. Okay, so this is good. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna bring up the toy so that you can see it. Let me move this out of the way. All right, we are almost done. I need these 
letters to be much, much closer together. So give me one second to do that. So it's gonna look like this. Oh, it's gonna be so cute. It's gonna hang like this, and then I would glue on the thing. So I'm gonna end it because I'm, I feel like I'm gonna have a hard time balancing this out. But here, let me flip this over so you can see it for one second. It's gonna be so cute. Okay. It's gonna be hanging like this. Ah, there we go. <laughs> well, thanks for joining. If you're on Instagram, this is where you'll always see a bazillion pictures, different angles, different poses with the projects. So that, that way you can see all the scenes, all the behind the scenes pictures. Um, it's Instagram.com slash the useless crafter um all right thank you so much let me know what you want to see i have a long list of stuff already but just put you know get in line so that i can do your project as well and i have sublimation printer coming up so i'm converting a printer a brand new printer switching out from the eco tank ink that comes with the printer for the sublimation um, ink so I will be doing that series this week. All right, see you guys. Bye.